Hey, what's going on everyone out there? I'm Jake James Lugo. Welcome to the channel and welcome to this new JJ's First Look. So this might be a little longer than a first 30, but we're taking a look at Tactics Ogre Reborn for the PlayStation 5. Uh, this was sent to me by Square Enix, so big shout out to them for that. And uh, yeah, we're just going to dive into this. Now, I never really played a whole lot of the original Tactics Ogre. I did mess around with it a little bit on PSP. That was really where Tactics Ogre, for a lot of people, they played it on. And uh, yeah, this is like a full-fledged like remake or re like re remix of it. So let's just give it. Hold on, let's let's give our birthday. Give our birthday. Oh, let's see, that's my birthday there, June 29th. We're day 11 of Gold Scale. <laughs> that's my birthday. Yeah. Truth is an exacting ally. How would you bring together two desperate clans by force, by religion, or by diplomacy? No, I could go over there. I could smack them up. I could go over there and try to preach to them, or I could actually try to compromise with them. No, we're going to go by diplomacy, because you guys know I'm a good guy. I want to be a good guy. The Herophant's order is a golden shackle. Of the many evils men do, which is the most damning? Deceiving others, sacrificing others, stealing from others. Sacrificing others to me is the most damning, because like you're taking away somebody's life. Deceiving is bad. It's really bad, but it's lie. Like, people... Like, you could deceive others, but nobody could, like, lose their life. And then stealing from others, same thing. Because even though stealing is bad. So, sacrificing others is bad. It's horrible. The Emperor, heavy rests the crown. The people of your kingdom rise against you. What course do you take? Treat, treat for peace, rally my armies, uh, abdicate the throne. No, treat for peace. Treat for peace. Like, because we want to actually work with people. We don't want to have, like, a kingdom of nobody. <laughs> No heart is free of shadow. All men hold darkness in their hearts. What lurks in yours? Vengeance for family. Vengeance for friends. Vengeance for country. Vengeance for family. I think because that would be like the bigger thing that if you have vengeance for. Because vengeance for friends is an important thing too. Vengeance for country. I wouldn't say though. At least not for me. Some people are like that. Especially if you go into the armed forces. But vengeance for family. I would say yes. That's darkness. Vengeance for family. Like if somebody messes with your family. You're going to go after them. The Hermit, have no fear of failure. A sage will grant you a single piece of wisdom. What will you learn from him? The secret of wealth, the secret of victory, the secret of winning hearts. Because if, technically if you win hearts, you get all this other stuff. You could get victory, you could get uh, wealth, but then winning hearts technically could be vanity. <laughs> secret of victory. Hmm. Secret of wealth, secret of winning hearts. I don't know, I think I'm gonna go secret of victory. Because victory could be many things, because you could win hearts and not achieve victory. Whose blessing do you seek? Whose blessing do you seek next? Which one do I seek? We got a couple. We have Elena, we have the goddess of air, the goddess of earth, the goddess of lightning. Oh, that looks pretty cool. The goddess of water, the goddess of ice. She looks pretty cool. Was it Linurum? Alinurum? And then, uh,. Zoshiel, Zoshanel, the goddess of fire. Ooh. Goddess of lightning looks cool. Nest heart. She's got, up there, she's got flame. She has ice. She has air. It's a cool panther design. Uh, Hanella, or Hanella. Vas of Vesa, or Vasa, goddess of earth. But she's the only one that has, like, an actual thing, goddess of lightning, which is the Ixian. And then, oh, was it Gruza, Gruza, or Gruza? Or Grey Uza. I think that's how you pronounce it. Goddess of Water. She's the only other one that has like a little like creature. But we're gonna go with I'm gonna go with the goddess of lightning. Goddess of lightning. You take this goddess as your patroness, yes. The goddess of lightning. So we're kinda doing all this here. Which path will you walk? The current rises. Nice. So yeah, we're going through this together from the very get-go. If you've never played Tactics Ogre, this will be a treat for you. Uh, I'm going to skip some of the cutscenes, not all of them, but some of them for the sake of time so we could get to the gameplay and we could get to the actual real meat of this game. Ogre Battle Saga, Episode 7. The Force Awakens. <laughs> okay, where's Rey? Where's Kylo Ren? Where are these people at? Where are they? Let us cling together. Yeah, that was the original name of it was Tactics Ogre, Let Us Cling Together. That was on the PSP. Go. We got all the cast. This is the credits, so hold on. Can I skip the credits? Can I skip the credits? Yeah, I just want to skip the credits because I want to get to... The, okay, chapter one. There is blood on my hands. How long till it lies on my heart? Some very deep philosophical stuff here. So here we go. Duff, less uh, casualties. 
less As anything. It is, we lack swords enough to face the Galgastani. The now, the one thing I will say about games like this, because obviously I'm, I'm making a video right now with all of you here, it's a little bit tough to make a video and like pay attention to the story so that's why i'm kind of like going back and forth with the recording and such but like when you're just like playing this game and just like listening to all the details you can get really engrossed with the lore and the world and the characters of games like this you know as is the case with most role-playing games which is cool so why are you come to our i'm gonna skip this for now so we can start like moving about what about you, Denim? Without your help, the Duke is as good as ah. Then so here we go. Let's prepare once. Let's go. The little character's just waddling over. Why do you not heed me, brother? Hmm. I know how you must feel. But what of my? Our father is this dead. Is, oh God! Here comes the drama. A hard truth. In all the world. You are the only one. Forgive me. Promise we'll never leave your sister. Yeah, nice. I like how this is all voice acted. I think in the original there was no voice acting. I could be wrong about that. Again, it's been a while since I've seen the one on the PSP. But I know that one of the big pulls of this version of the game was that it has full voice acting for all the lines and all the characters, which is cool. You were the one who brought the Because when I find a tool well suited for a job. I use it. At least one of us has the sense to recognize an opportunity. Yes, yeah, right, Vice. What's the matter with you? <laughs> Is that how you see people? As tools? I'd have expected Dang. of a civil. Dang, that was cold. She's looking over there like all sad now. <laughs> I only want to see an end. She's all like upset. Like <laughs> Lan Lanzamot, Lancelot and uh, his allies have joined you as guests. Okay, cool. All right, move your party to a town, castle, or point of interest on the world map, and then we can get moving. Okay, select like party command to manage your units and equip classes. Okay, and then the system menu, of course. Now let's let's get moving. Let's go over this way. Strongholds are made up of multiple battlefields, which must be fought back to back. You can save your progress before beginning the next battle. However, you cannot leave the stronghold until the series of battles is complete. That's right. So we gotta we gotta do this stuff. So hold on, let's uh, data. Let's save. Save it out just in case, because you know. The Great, the, what is it, the Great Battle of Amora or Great Plains of Amora? Check it out. Look at all these fools right here. Are you the rebels what been hiding out in Gallia? Look at this. This is like super angry British grunt voice right now. <laughs> Man, I just, I don't know. Like, I'm not poking fun at it. I just love it because it, it, it makes me laugh because everything's working so well. So let's vanquish them. Let's go. It's time to press somebody. Let's get these fools to battle. Okay, so let's go. A narrow stream, scarce one pace across. Easily jump this. Watch, let me show you how it's done, son. But look before, eh? You can only jump to ground. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, you could just only traverse the the area of where you could actually go to. One of the winged like me. So this man is obviously, he's got wings. He could fly around. He's all good. Even so, rushing in alone without someone to watch your back. In other words, don't be an idiot. <laughs> be smart. Always keep a close watch on the action to see who will move next. Avoid unnecessary actions. The distance a unit... Same how long I must wait to move again. Yeah, that makes sense. Detect the order in which I love how the game is teaching you. With this voice acting, you can sort units by order that's good. It's not like you always have to read a bunch of menus. When a unit's turn comes round, you can command it to move, act, yeah. or use skills. What's more, you can issue these commands that's right. in the order you see. Tactical. The command to move can be cancelled at any time. If you find a unit, yeah, exactly. This is exactly like any other strategy RPG. Units begin battle with no MP, that being the font. Yeah, that's magic power, so. Oh, so you get magic over time. Powerful magic so the longer you wait, the more spells and the bigger spells you can probably cast. So everybody's moving, doing things, lurking. Excuse you, sir. Did he just shoot an arrow at me? Excuse you. Okay, here we go. Let's move. 
Move up. Follow some fools. Yeah, okay, yeah, let's end turn. We're ready. Hey, look at that. I found something. A magic leaf. All right, who's about to get pressed? Units are moving in for the kill. Here comes a magical attack. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, no, he's healing. Okay, I thought he was going to shoot somebody. Skills are divided Action, support, auto, and special. Action. Units learn skills as they gain levels. Yeah. According to their class. That just now was meditate. An, An auto, auto skill. skill. Auto skills will sometimes yeah, those are passive skills, basically. Which is good. It's what we want out here. Spark Sphere. Oh, he smacked him up. He did moderate damage, like a third. What's he doing moving away? A conjurer of magics must do more than learn a spell to wield it in battle. Yeah, it okay, that makes sense. Spell. Assign spells to your units from the party screen. Yeah, so basically give the magic users spells before you go into battle. You'll need a class mark in order to change a unit's class. Some class marks can be found for sale in shops, but not all are to be had so easily. So yeah, that's pretty much like any sort of class from like tactics or from Fire Emblem. The types of like units a or the attacks that you can use. Change when they change classes. There's no reason to go making things harder on yourself than they already are. Good. To use yeah, that's just basically items. We, don't, we, we already know all this. Oh, my man's gonna smack him up. Yeah. He's, what that stupid seven damage. Take heed of the enemy's element before striking. There are eight in all. Each element has its strength. Yeah, that's basically like the little like table, like almost like a rock paper paper scissors, and very similar to what they do with the triangle and fire emblem. Each unit has a level. So if you have like the the advantage over another unit, you could do more damage. It's good for taking out units when you feel like you're at a disadvantage. Yeah, smack them up in the face. <laughs> One whisper of Ronway's execution, and out you come. Bold as you please. <laughs> That's great. Oh man. High time we were rid of your lot. He's gonna do some. Support skills are just that. Skills that provide some passive benefit. When I move, you'll notice yellow hmm. points of light near me on the ground. So when he moves. There I go. Light. Get another attack. Counter. Block. This is a support skill called Rampart Aura. Any foes entering the range of the aura will be unable to move further. So that's not that's bad as turn. far as a passive skill. Some support skills hinder consider well. That's interesting. Here we go. You shoot an arrow. Oh, that hurt. Dead shot. He missed. Like a moron. So let's go up there. Can I attack this fool? No, I can't attack this fool. Let's uh Let's move, let's move up a little bit further. Like, right around here. Like that, and everybody move up, and then he's gonna go after that guy. Perry? Excuse you, sir. Everybody's just fighting right now. It's like a bunch of chibis just going at it. <laughs> just, just watch it from afar and laugh it because it looks a little funny. We fight or we die. I've never let a Galgastoni get the better of me. And I don't mean to start to focus, Vice. Our first duty is to save the Duke. Tell Lex and me on duty. Your only duty is to yeah. save life. Yeah. Yeah. You should yeah. speak to Dad. <laughs> it's got such like an attitude. It's funny. Like she's just running away. Oh, he's getting, trying to get old oh, back attack. Counter! Parry, excuse you, sir. The guy's getting overwhelmed. Need to help him out. Yeah, I punched him in the face. My man's gonna do meditate. Okay, and then of course he's gonna use his magic any second now. The Spark Spear! That did a lot of damage, like for real. <laughs> From Lotus when I see one. Oh, this man's gonna attack him from behind with a hammer. <laughs> oh, he 
goes down. Oh, look, he got that little bunny bag that, that dropped over there. And that dude's almost done, too. Look, he's going to go after him. He's going to smack him. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Massive damage. Dead shot. Yikes. All right, let's move up. Let's get this fool right over here. No, whoops. Mm. Smacked him up. It's over. Let's go this way. Are you all right, Denon? You shouldn't let Rice get to you. I'm fine, sister. <laughs> like, they're just, like, jogging in place. They just look so funny. Again, this chibi look is just looks great. Heels. Got a little bit of heels right there. Excuse me? Did that man just steal the, the loot? Oh, no. Yeah, he took all the loot. What the hell? Yeah. Got him there, about to take out the mage in a second. Counter! Now everybody's just like ganging up on each other. <laughs> just like brawling out. A bunch of brawling chibis. <laughs> ah, there goes the mage. Mage is down. Repeat, the mage is down. No. Yeah, everybody's taking their movements before me. <laughs> everybody's getting all these movements before I do. Okay, let's move. Let's get this fool right over here. Let's attack. Hit him right there. Got a bag. We got the loot, son. We got the loot, son. We got a leather Custis and a Xena wine. Okay. And he's down. Yeah. Oh. My man's got the bag. Well, that's a lot of like armor and stuff that we got. Got more of a bag over here. We got him. We overwhelmed him. He dropped a very big bag there. Congratulations! The spoils of war. Look at all that loot right there. Look at all that loot. Bunch of loot. Bunch of loot and stuff. Pretty good overall. Nice bundle of loot. Total 230 experience. Everybody's leveling up. Look at that. Everybody's leveling up. Level cap. Okay, yeah, level cap for the people that are not in my party, obviously. Everybody's uh, experience points are not awarded to individual units, but the entire party. Okay, only units who survive battle will receive experience. Of course, like, you don't want anybody to, like, get, like, KO'd. The way inside is clear. Stay on guard. Leave the heavy lifting to us, Denim. Cover our flank. That's right, so we're gonna be on the B team. Gonna freaking assault the keep over here. Just go inside, start pressing people, doing all types of stuff. So the uh, Almorica Passage. Let's go get him, son. It's time. Uh, a fine time for this, with Master Nybeth away. Listen well. We face the rogues who slew Bapal and his men. This man is serious. Look at that. He's even he's wearing the helmet as a hat. Give these rebel swine a taste of Galgastani steel. Almorica so, yeah, let's go. <laughs> He's that guy in the clan that's just like, yeah. Now we got a lot of peeps to deal with <laughs> right now. Just a lot of them. So we're going to have all the auto team go first, basically. Going to hit it with that spark sphere. 
did a good amount of damage, by the way. Now, I keep thinking, like, those knights there on the side, I thought they were actual characters, but no, they're statues. I thought, like, they were actual, like, characters. Okay, let's, let's move up. Let's move up, go help our peeps. Right there. Okay, yeah, yeah. Everybody's moving up. Time to press them. Yeah, but it's just, like, waddling over. <laughs> Interlopers, why do you meddle in our affairs? <laughs> our struggle with His voice is great. Back generations. It's no concern of yours. Or do you seek to claim Valeria? What is this? House of the Dragon? Or I Game of Thrones? What? We are men without a country. We have lent them our swords because it suits us to do so. And we're looking for mercenary work, as it happens. And worry you'll leave for a bigger purse? We don't need outsiders to do our killing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rescue this duke. He's like, yeah, he's kind of right about that. I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, back to the combat. It's time to get back to this nonsense. Well, this guy's going to shoot an arrow at us. Excuse you, sir. That is rude. Lost souls who wander across the land become as thunderbolts of the fairy embrace. Lightning bow! They look like it hurt. Alright, let's get these fools. The Spark Sphere! Let's move. Huh. You know what? Let's see if we can do this. Do a rock at him! <laughs> do a rock at him! <laughs> like freaking uh, Killer Croc from Batman the Animated Series. I do a rock at him! I wish, I'm gonna be honest with you, I wish in this section that it gave me the ability to take control of these units, because I would love to use them. You know, granted, it's trying to teach me different elements of the game here. With these characters you know as i use it or at least i would have liked it if my character was a little bit more competent maybe that's on me because i could have uh what is it equipped some of the stuff from the previous battle into here onto my character then it would have been a little bit better but regardless though at least we get to see this play out in the way that it does it's a good way to make a video like this mm. so get that garbage out of my face Like, this guy's gonna do something. Look at it, you're gonna shoot an arrow? Excuse you, sir. Lightning bow! Ha! <laughs> Did this man just parry my attack? Excuse you. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Let's see what we got here. The Spock Sphere! That does a good amount of damage, but I wish that he would attack a character that I didn't need to go after. Whoops. There we go. Let's go over to this section here. We can also get the bag afterwards, because there's a bag there we could get. That guy's got, like, very little health now. Yeah, there we go. Now one went down. Heels. Nice. A little bit of heels is always good. It's always appreciated. Yeah, this guy's got, like, very little health. <laughs> I love how they're just, like, aiming at random stuff back because there's a tutorial. The Spark Sphere! And I think that paralyzes them or does a status effect.
Hit him with the shield, just like, mm. There you go. Smacked him up. Now, hold on, can we go? I can't hit that dude. Let me get some of this stuff in here. Get some of the bag, get some of the loot, son. Got a bunch of items in there. Okay, cool. I'll take that. I'll take it. Okay, so we have this enemy here. We got rid of all the guys here on the side, basically. All of them, except for maybe one that I can see in the corner. Well, he's going to get rid of him now. So now it's basically all of us versus this one dude. May my prayers become a beacon guide to the gods. Of course. A little bit of heals. Appreciate the heals out here. More magic. Fire reverse. Okay, so fire attacks, I guess, is gonna hurt him. Let's uh let's move up to this fool right here. Let's smack him up. We're ready yet? Hmm. Huh. I could go for the bag of loot, but you know what? I'm just gonna. Got him. We're doing damage, son. We're doing damage out here. So just smacking the hell out of this guy. Just smacking him up a few times. Like he's only got a little bit of health left and he's done. Counter! Oh, look, we're just surrounding him. We're just, we're just over here just like dogging on him. Just beat him down. <laughs> My life. Sorry, Galkastan will not help you right now. It's over. It's finished. Pack it up. Hit the shower, son. There'll be no apple pie for you on the way out. So we got a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I'm guessing because we didn't get those bags or they, they like get included here in the spoils, which is nice. Because we had a lot here. We actually got a lot, a lot. Got uh, some experience, which is great. Level three. Sweet. Level cap. We're all level three in the level cap. Nice. Skills finishing moves. Cool. Okay. Okay. Appreciate that. It's good. Yeah, everybody looks like super serious sitting at the table there. Doubtless you and your friends are a gift from the great father himself. Huh. The Wallister boon is great. He's bright. <laughs> is bright. We are not alone in our loyalty. Upon word of your grace's release, hmm. many Wallister Very, very cool overall. And there is still time so what I am going to do is I'm going to skip all no, this. Okay, you can input your name. What is it? Input the name of the Denim Knights, Order of Knights. Oh, you can put up to 12 characters. So I'm just going to keep it as gold scale for now. Order of gold scale. No, the order of, uh... I'm gonna put the order of Saravon. There we go. Put it like that. The order of Saravon. What do you think? A fine name. Yeah, they don't even know because the voice acting doesn't, doesn't go for it. But I'm gonna skip all this just so I can go to the menu because this is gonna be a good spot to, to wrap things up. Hero of Goliath. Or Goliath. Yeah, Goliath. Led us to gainful employ after all. My thanks. No, it is I who should thank you. Pretty cool overall. So, pretty good. I, I'm I'm pleased with the, the presentation of this, how it plays out. I regret we cannot join Again, you. if you're into strategy RPGs or tactical RPGs, joins my party. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty good overall. I mean, I'm just double checking all this stuff. It joins my party. I think we're good to go. There's like no other things. Yeah, let's recruit him. He joined Order of Saravon. Adala wants to join. Yeah, that's a coup. Recruit. Yeah, we're getting all these people. These are all the different types of units we could get. Saravon wants to join. Or Sir Severin. I thought it said Saravon. Looked like a Valkyrie there. But yeah, Towns, Castles, and the shops are there. Green Train Commands. The shops you could buy and sell items, re view, recruit new units, and sell monsters at auction. It's a good idea to stock up on consumables to use in battle, such as restoring HP. Train allows you to take part in training battles, which you could do to level up. Uh, dismiss allows you to dismiss a unit, change class, finishing moves, everything. Very cool overall. So yeah, 
that's going to do it for my look at Tactics Ogre Reborn. I'm pleased with this. I think this is pretty cool. I think this is pretty interesting. Like I said, if you're big into strategy RPGs or tactical RPGs, this is right up your alley, especially if you never played the original on the PSP. I highly recommend that you check this out. Let me know some of your thoughts about this game in the comment section down below. Tell me, are you a big strategy RPG fan? Have you played the original Tactics Ogre? Talk to me about all that stuff down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on this video. And I will talk to all of you again very soon.